our schools are created to tell young men to sit down and shut up and do nothing. You know, there's a subset in school today that are not good at sitting down. They need to get outside and get their hands dirty. They don't need to sit down and shut up. They need to stand up and go do something instead of prescribing some damn medicine to these kids saying, oh, you need Ritalin. Oh, you need this medication. Oh, you need that. No, let them get outside, do some physical labor, get dirty and allow these young boys to grow up to be strong men. There's nothing wrong with being young and breaking your arm. There's nothing wrong with being young and getting a black eye or a bloody nose. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of confrontation. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And yet we look at society today and we say, oh, be a quiet, good little boy. Don't stand up for yourself. Don't stand up for what you believe in. Don't go out on a limb and do things a little bit differently than what this society is telling you the norm. And frankly, it's pissing me off because I don't look at my son and say, hey, sit down and be quiet, little guy. Don't be too loud. Don't do that. No, I want my son to get out there. I want him to get his hands dirty. I want him to get in the mix and I want him to be a man. And there is no way in heck he or my daughters are ever going to get participation ribbons. Participation ribbons do not exist. They might come out of a place of love, not trying to hurt or belittle or any of this stuff. But there are winners and there are losers. As a world champion, as a professional rodeo athlete, I failed far more than I won. But it's those failures that made me look at myself and say, hey, how can I get better today? How can I try a little bit harder this time than I did last time? Or how can I change my approach and take this competition a little bit differently than I did the last one? See, failing gives you the ability to have wisdom. And when I look on social media and I saw all these young boys celebrated for turning into little girls, it freaking drives me crazy. What they need is a father figure that's willing to stand up and say, this is right, this is wrong. No, you're not gonna do this to your body even though the government says you can. And guess what? It's okay to struggle. It's okay if things don't feel right to you. If you're grinding and you're trying and it's hard and you're having difficulty and kids are making fun of you at school, son, I've been there too. They need men who are willing to stand up in their household, in their communities, then put their foot down and say, no more is this crap allowed. And if you're listening to this right now, young man, masculinity is not toxic. There's a certain group of people that want to label being a strong man as toxic. It is not toxic to open the door for a lady. It is not toxic to protect somebody in her life. It is not toxic to stand up for what you believe in. It is not toxic to go on and be a cowboy and be tough and be willing to do things that not a lot of people are willing to do. That is masculinity at its finest. That is how God created us to be. Now, there's a group of people also in the world that want to control the narrative. They want to be able to control you. They want you to do whatever they say, whenever they say it. They want this good herd mentality that you just follow the sheep in front of you and you don't have an opinion and you don't stand up for yourself. The opposition wants you dumb, docile, and following the rules. And I'm here to tell you, my friends, the only way that we get manhood back and have a kind and gracious society is by having a strong male in the household married to one person for their entire life. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, there's going to be temptations. And allowing our children to take the easy way out is pushing them closer to drugs, pushing them closer to pornography, pushing them close to all these self-sabotaging things that they do to get temporary pleasure. The opposition wants you more feminine. The opposition wants you weak. The opposition wants you controllable. And at the end of the day, are you going to be controlled? Are you just going to follow the herd? Are you just going to do what everybody says and fit in and be all this stuff? My friends, if you want to fit in, you'll never stand out. Bottom line, it is the way it is.